right, today we're going to be looking at some constructions with parallel and perpendicular lines. And I'm going to do the best I can with these tools on a smart board and a computer. It's kind of hard, but we're going to get this done. So if I want to conduct a parallel line, so a line parallel to the one that I've drawn here, I'm going to draw a transversal first. So I'm just going to draw on a transversal. From that transversal, I'm going to put a point somewhere on there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my compass point at the vertex. And I'm going to draw an arc through both of those transversals. So I'm going to draw this arc. Let's see. I didn't mean to, this arc doesn't necessarily have to go right through that point like it did. That just happened to be a coincidence. Now, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my compass to our point that we've drawn, and I'm going to draw another arc. So here's my second arc. Then I'm going to take, and I'm going to open up my compass. I'm going to put the point where they intersect, and I'm going to open up my compass so that it is that same width. It's going to take some plane. So it's about that same width. And I'm going to then move it up to where it intersects the transversal with the second arc that we drew. And then I'm going to draw another arc from there. Let's make that red so that we can see the difference. And we're going to draw this arc. And now if we've done it correctly and had all of our measurements, we should have a line that's going to go right through those two points. And it's going to be parallel. Looks a little bit off, but I think it's just the way I've drawn it into the dot. If I can move it up just a little bit, this end, there we go. It looks like we did, in fact, go ahead and make that just still a little bit off. It's not letting me move one end. But if we were just to draw the line through there, there, it would be parallel. And of course, you'll use a straight edge and a compass because you want it to be beautiful. All right. The others are much simpler than that. So if I want to make a perpendicular bisector, I'm going to put um, my compass with one point on the end. And I want to make sure that it's more than half. And I'm going to draw a nice big arc. that goes above and beyond. I'm going to leave it at that same setting. And I'm going to draw another arc. If I can get my compass, let me flip it here. It's not wanting to be cooperative. All right, there we go. And I'm going to draw another big arc with that same setting. And where these lines intersect is going to be, or where these arcs intersect is going to be your perpendicular bisector. So right through here and here. And that's your perpendicular bisector. Okay. Great. To construct a perpendicular from a point on a line, we're going to draw two points that are equidistance from P. So we're going to use our compass to do that. So we're just going to go to P and we're going to open up our compass. Doesn't matter how far, but we're going to keep it the same way. And we're going to draw a little arc there. We're going to flip the compass over, flip the compass over. There we go. And we're going to draw another arc. Of course, there, I just screwed that up by changing the size of the arc. So let's go double check. I admit when I screw up. 
right? There's no way to lock this. So if I now go ahead and draw my next arc over here, okay? And now we're going to label those points. That doesn't even look right there. So let's try this one more time. Let's erase this arc. Here. Erase. Goodbye. All right, so let's measure this out again. Make sure I've got these at the same arc, and I don't. Just a little bit off. I need to check it with my degrees. So 53. I'm going to draw that. That's a lot off. I'm going to draw that line red so we can see which one we're working with. So here is this arc. And now we want to open it. Okay, if this is point A and this is point B, we want it to be greater than the distance that we had it. So let's make it wider. Okay. And we're going to put on point A and we're going to draw an arc up here keeping that same setting we're going to put our point on B and draw another arc okay. and now we're just going to draw that line in there and so here is that perpendicular from that point. Okay, one last example. So to construct a perpendicular from a point to a line we're going to open our compass to a size greater than the distance from the line to the point. So it's got to be bigger than that. So I'm just going to put my compass on my point. I'm going to make a really big See if that's bigger. Let's move it and see. Absolutely bigger. So we're going to make an arc. Probably too big. So let's undo that. Stop. So let's make it a little bit smaller. And let's draw that arc again. So now see how it cuts through the line. Okay. So we have, we'll label these points E and F, just like the directions tell us to do. We're going to put our compass point on E. And we're going to make an arc. I'm going to make it a little smaller. So I'm going to make an arc. I'm going to keep that same setting and move it over to F. And I'm going to make, let's flip it around. And we're going to make another arc. Let's flip it around. And I must not have set that very well. That does not look very perpendicular now, does it? All right, so we're supposed to yeah, that is so not so not perpendicular. So let's try that one more time. So you can see that I'm leaving this in here so you guys can see how frustrating I could get sometimes with this. It's possible. Okay, so take two. Let's put the point and since I've erased it here here okay 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my compass and I am going to put it on the point. And my compass has to be opened further than that point to the line, so I've got to open it a little bit more. And I'm going to draw an arc here. And then I'm going to draw, continue the arc this way. Okay. And then I'm going to label these points here, E and F. And now I'm going to go ahead and move my compass down to where they intersect. I'm going to change the color of my ink. I'm going to make it a sm little bit smaller and I'm going to draw an arc. And I'm going to keep that same setting and I'm going to go over here to F which is that point right there where they intersect. I'm going to make another arc. Okay. And where those arcs intercept and draw a straight line through that point and where those intersect and there is your perpendicular and that definitely looks a lot more perpendicular so I must have changed the setting. All right, so you gotta be careful with construction. It takes practice. Obviously, I didn't practice enough with the smart tools before I made your video. Um, have a math-tastic day. Yay. Yay. Hello, future.